Hello, just getting ready to bottle up a latest batch of home brew. Uh, bottles are here in the sterilizing solution. Uh, what I use is a, a bleach and a vinegar mix. Uh, 30 ml of white vinegar, 30 ml of uh, unscented thin household bleach in 20 litres of water. And use that, use that proportion. Never, ever, ever mix the bleach and the vinegar together undiluted. The safest way to do it is put in the bleach into your bucket here, fill up your water, whatever amount of water you're using, and then add the, the vinegar last. It's, um, it's the safest way to do it. This is a no rinse solution, but um, I have my own particular way of, of guaranteeing that we don't end up with any, uh, any taint or any, any taste on the bottles. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drain out the rest of these here. And when I have that done, we're going to demonstrate then how I make sure that the bottles are completely flushed out and yet maintain their um, their sterility and make sure that they're, they are completely sanitised. Now, we're just about to start the next part of the operation here with sterilising the bottles. Um, as you can probably see there in the distance, uh, the bottles are already being drained out. Those cloths that are just draped over the bottles. Just, now all they are, they're just um, ordinary tea towels and they've been, um, they've been soaked in the sterilizing solution. Uh, that's just to keep the bottles clean while we're, um, we're proceeding with this. This copper pipe arrangement that you can see in front of you is hooked up to um, a wallpaper stripper. Now you might just be able to see that there's some water vapor coming out of the pipes. I have it switched off now because it's a little bit noisy. But what happens is um, the water vapour comes up those pipes, the bottles are placed upside down on the pipes and the condensing water um, acts as a rinsing agent and what it does is that it rinses out any, any residue that's left, making sure that we have no contamination from the sterilising solution. I'm going to plug it in now and uh, give a quick demonstration of this. Um, it is going to take a little while. Um, so what we do is that we'll just show you how we start it off and then we'll come back to it when we're completed. Just wait for it to boil up again. And once it comes to the boil, the water vapour is going to come out here. There's five pipes, you can do five at a time. Um, it's just going down here. There we go, we're away. So this is the nozzle coming from the wallpaper stripper. It just goes into this pipe here, and the water vapor then comes up here. So we're gonna start with these ones here. And you simply just place them on the pipe, like so. And give it a couple of seconds you know maybe a minute or so now what happens here is if you've got two you've got two actions going on you have the condense of the um the water vapor rinsing out any residue plus you've got the heat element so these get quite hot these can get up to quite a temperature so you need to be careful if you decide to put one of these rigs together So it's just getting up to speed here now. Now one issue that did occur when I put this together first was that the water condensing inside the pipes here, um, the pressure wasn't enough to drive it out. So we had to bore a couple of holes in the base of it to make sure that we got a bit of drainage going. Now anything that's dripping out of those bottles at this stage is condensate. It's going to be, um, basically it's distilled water. So we'll see if we can get a little bit closer on that one for you. Hopefully there now you can see the water vapor coming out of the bottles. Um, 
so that's the, anything that's dripping out there now is is uh, condensate and that's basically what you do you just keep on going until you have all your bottles completed once the bottles are done i place them on the table here and i drape a cloth over them again